According to a study, our immunity to COVID-19, once we have had it, may not last more than a couple of months. Patty Olinger is an d- infectious disease specialist and executive director of the Global Biorisk Advisory Council. Uh, Patty, this seems like not good news. Well, actually, it's, it's just, it's news. And what, I mean, obviously, everybody would like to have natural immunity You get it once and it's there for life. Um, but when it looks like, you know, when we look at infectious diseases in general, that's not normally what happens. And so this is just news. And what it does is it helps us, you know, helps the pharmaceutical companies and the researchers plan their attack against COVID-19. But the virus, as we know, keeps morphing. And, and some people say that they've, they've had it twice. I mean, so, so can we actually stay ahead of it, even if, even if you know, we think we're immune? But that's a, you know, it's really interesting because, you know, we are all, you know, biological, you know, organisms ourselves. And, you know, it's not, I mean, I know of people who've had the chicken pox twice or, or something like, you know, a, a disease that you typically think of only getting once. And that's because a lot of reasons. One, you per- personally may not have developed a, a great immunity to it, or you, maybe you had a really mild case. Um, And so that could be one thing. Um, The morphing of the virus, it depends on a lot of how it's morphing. And so what the researchers try and do is figure out, uh, you know, those sections of the the genetic makeup of this virus that don't morph as easily so that they can attack it. And then also maybe in a different way to look at how the mechanism of action, meaning how it really attacks us, and where within the body it attacks. So maybe they can provide a vaccine that helps or, or and this is also treatment, how it helps, you know, um, block that, that virus. So how does this, this news from this study compare with, say, the flu? You know, how long are we immune after a flu vaccine or after we get it? Uh, well, it's, it's dependent upon, uh, again, a lot of different parameters, but one of the things that we do know is that think about H1N1 and the 1918 flu. I mean, that, you know, we've had um, different viruses like that that have come along since then. And yes, what the fear is, is that it would morph to become very highly infectious and, and that it would affect more individuals. But we all have had uh, probably either through our vaccinations or natural immunity, a little bit of, of H1N1. And so we have a little bit of that immunity um, in us, most, a lot of us. And so that helps. And so, yeah, I mean, those are the types of things. It's not a, a black and white or, you know, a hard line of it's going to be this way or that way. It unfortunately is a little bit fuzzy um, as to the target that they're looking at. All right. Thank you so much, Patty Olinger, who is an infectious disease specialist with us here on the Kogo News Live Line. Thank you so much.